Welcome. Hallelujah. It is well. It is always well. It is. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, Sister Lorraine. Welcome, Yolanda, my dear. How are you? Sister Denise, Happy New Year, Denise Powell. Happy New Year. Mm. Welcome. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. I'm just here with a short announcement. Amen. Sister Kayan, welcome. Sister Marcia Jones. Yes, Minister Jolene, welcome. God bless you all for being here. I just came up with a very quick announcement. Amen. We will be having service tomorrow at the same address, which is 100 East River Drive, East Hartford, Connecticut. I encourage you to bring a friend. Don't come alone. Amen. Hallelujah. I encourage you to bring a friend. Don't come by yourself. It's a new year. Let us do the work of God. The Bible said, let us do the work of him that send us while it's still daytime. Because at night, that's time to rest. Amen. That's what, that's. That's, and those were Jesus' words. Yes, Jesus said, let us do our Father's work while it is still daytime. Because at night, at night, it's a whole different level. Amen? Glory to God. Mm. Mm-hmm. He said, let us do the work. Many of us don't understand that evangelism is work. I think it's in John 9. John, John chapter 9. Make it clear. He said, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man when no man can work it means that man is not even supposed to work at night let us pray hallelujah let us pray man is not even you see some people take night job it's not of god you cannot be a watchman for the lord and you're working at night so i pray that if you're here and you have to work all night through the night for the Lord to change your story let us pray father we thank you 
for the new year. Lord, we are thanking you for the opportunity to enter that building tomorrow to have service. And therefore, we ask you to go before us. Have your way. Let your will be done. As we are gathered here this hour, speak to our hearts. Let your will be done. Not my will, but thy will. We refuse to take your glory, covenant keeping God. We declare it is well, and we love you, Lord. You said if we love you, we should obey your voice. Lord, we love you, and we will obey your voice. Let your divine will be done in our life. Take glory from our life. Many are busy and they don't have time. But Lord, I ask you to remember the ones that are extremely busy. So busy they can't find time to worship you. So busy they have no time to pray. They're busy making that money. Busy, busy doing everything else. And Lord, we thank you that you have provided a place where we can meet to worship. We give you all the honor. You said it's not about us, it's about you. And tonight, we are here to thank you and to lift you up, to exalt you, to magnify you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, we thank you that this is the first month of the year and we have a place to meet to worship you. You said the best is yet to come and it's a year of purification. Lord, we thank you for what you're about to do. We thank you for what you have already done. The Hebrew boy said, if, even if you don't bless them anymore, even if you don't save them, they refuse to worship idols. So Lord, we tell you now, even if you don't give us another miracle, even if you don't give us any more blessings, we are still going to hold on to your unchanging hands. It doesn't matter what kind of storm is raging up against us, we will hold on to you. It doesn't matter what type of afflictions we are facing, we will continue to hold on to you. Therefore, Lord, thank you. We thank you for everything that you are doing. Let your will be done. We decree and we declare it that it is well. Your people will declare it is well. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It doesn't matter who is coming up against us. We declare it is well. Because we know you will slay our enemies. And Lord. This year we declare victory. Will be a year of victory. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I cover myself even now. Oh God. I cover myself even now in the blood of Jesus Christ. Mighty God, I cover myself even now, Lord God. Let your will be done. Show up, Holy Spirit. We invite you to enter. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We We welcome you now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. Oh God, I thank you. Welcome to all. Welcome. Tony. <laughs> Tony Langu. <laughs> How are you? Sister Claudia Gales. Welcome. Karel. Saskia Lauda. Sister Suzette Martel. Welcome. Sister Claudette Thompson, we welcome you. You know, we didn't have service on Christmas Day in church. No. We didn't. Yes, we had service Christmas Day. We didn't have service New Year's Day. Hallelujah. 
New Year's Day. No, we didn't have Christmas service in church. We were right here at home. New Year's Day, New Year's Eve, we had service. We had service on the 18th and we have service on the 31st. We didn't have service on the 25th, neither the 1st. May the Lord bless you. Happy New Year to each and every one of you that are near and far. We had service, yes, the 18th and the 31st. Yeah, the weather was not welcoming one bit, so we stayed indoors. Hallelujah. Wherever you are connecting from, Happy New Year. Sam, out there in Sweden, welcome. May the Lord do something new for you in this new year. Amen. God promised us a lot of new things and it's happening. You might not see it because you're expecting a big old package, but just look around you. Just, just turn and look around you. God promised us big things, but he's starting small. How do you know? He said, well done, my good and faithful servant. Though I've been faithful over a few. So God is not just going to drop it big in your hands. He's going to see how you handle a few. And then when you are tried with a few, he will bless you in abundance. Based on if you were being a good steward. Hallelujah. Jesus, welcome. God bless you. Felix, loaded. <laughs> Deacon Bailey. <laughs> Deacon Bailey, I'm inviting you to Connecticut. Hallelujah. Come and bless us out here in Connecticut. Amen. It is well. I'm, I'm excited to be here because if it had not been the Lord who is on my side, when all kinds of atrocities are coming after me, oh, I wouldn't be here tonight. If it had not been the Lord who is on my side, when the devil sent his agents to come after me, oh, I wouldn't be here. So whenever you see me, give God thanks for my life. Hallelujah. When you don't see me, pray for me. I'm doing the Lord's work. God has been faithful. You know, I'm just excited because of his goodness and his mercies. I, I, I don't have to get anything from God in order to worship him. All I want to hear is just one good testimony. Oh, Jesus. He never failed me yet. He never failed me yet. Jesus Christ never failed me yet. Anywhere I go, I want the world to know. You know, we're going to have church. We're going to have some old time religion. Yes. You know those old time service that they used to have when church used to nice and 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 your grandparents used to always be in the spirit and anybody come there would be there to pray for them you give me that old time religion give me that old time religion it's good enough for me you give me that old time religion yes so we will enjoy service tomorrow but we, will, we are also looking forward to have service in Jamaica. Yes. That church. Oh, Jesus. We're going to have a Holy Ghost party up in that building. <laughs> it's about time. Amen. It's about time. You see, many times... When you see God is using you to do something, it's because somebody in your bloodline was disobedient. So they didn't do it. And God will use you to finish it. Yes. Many times you see God will use you to, to do some things, to, to carry out some assignment. Don't take the glory. It is because somebody in your bloodline was disobedient and God chose you. So I'm here to tell you this. 
Don't take his glory. Mm -mm. Don't take his glory. Hide the word of God in your heart. So when it's when the devil show up, you won't listen to him. Resist the devil so he can flee. There are a lot of people that God is calling them to use them and they are not available. God is not looking for good looking people. God is not looking for cute men and, and pretty women. No, he is looking for people who are available. And this is why there are some pastors who are not so good looking. This is why you have some pastors with half of their face rip off. You can tell that half half a side of their face was destroyed. This is why you will see some pastors in wheelchair. This is why you will you, God will call prostitutes out of that whorehouse and use them because what? The nice looking people not available. They want to be paid for their good looks. And therefore, God is calling a different breed of people to bring forth the word of God. To prove to some people that they are wasting time. So we don't take God's glory. Many times the reason why God calls us is because we have gone through so much and we have a testimony. Hey! Many times... You see some people that were rejected. Somebody wrote them off. Or the community that they come from, people write them down. Narrow them down. Reduce them to nothing. And those are the little people that God will use. And this is why I tell people, Anytime you're looking down on someone, make sure you're looking on their shoes. Because God will raise up nothing and use that nothing to do something. God is not looking for the elite. He is looking for those that were lost. Ah. He's looking for those that were rejected. He's looking for those that are filled with mud. He's looking for those. He's looking for some Lazarus. Somebody who people already bury. Hey, God is looking for some Lazarus. Somebody who everybody bury. They finish with you. Those are the people that God is looking for to use. So I'm here to let you know this. Somebody might write you up because your money look funny. You're not like before. But I'm here to let you know God will fix you the way he wants you. He will fashion you. Ah, Some places that you are not even qualified to enter. There will be a high seat waiting for you this year. I declare it over your life. Mr. Vagina Man. You call yourself Vagina Whisper in Vegas. I'm here to tell you this. There's an event coming up where you will be celebrated. Ha, da, da. Maybe you have been celebrated before, but there is a, an event that's coming up when you will have tears because you won't, re, you won't believe that God remember you. So I'm here to let you know. Be prepared for what's ahead. Jesus. I hear the Lord said, all those warfare that you had, it was for such a time as this. Habaroko Sataya. It was for such a time as this. I declare over your life that you will testify. Powerful testimony will come. I see you in the realms of the spirit. And what the Lord is showing me is going to blow your mind. You're going to be owner of many things, ruler over many, many, many things in old age. You will be bako, rabako, baba, blessed. Madaka shataya, blessed. Thank God for the people who introduced you to this ministry. Thank God for your life. Bless them. Watch what God will do. Release, release prophetic word over your life. You can do it. 
It's in you. Oko shata. Rabo boko city. I decree and I declare that you will speak the oracles of God. Even if it's a day before your eyes are closed. Even if it's a day before God call you home. You will prophesy. You will say some things. And they will come to pass. Oh, thus says the Lord. Jesus. Mighty God. It is well. Hey. Hmm. Sister Lorraine, God is getting ready to bring something new. Fresh wind is about to blow in your direction. Yeah, 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 kata, rabababoko soto, fresh wind. Fresh wind is about to blow in your direction. Jesus, I hear the Lord said I should tell you this. Jesus, you know, there's a song that says, I didn't know you would favor me this way. I didn't know. You would favor me this way. I didn't know. Akasheda Baba. You would favor me this way. Favor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Yarada. Koshoto. Kodala Baba. Kosataya. Somebody help me bless God. The Lord is speaking in my ears and I can hear him clearly. Susan Martel, I hear the Lord said the month of February will be your month. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> Susan Martel, I hear the Lord said the month of February will be your month. But before the breakthrough comes, something is going to happen to pull you out of your element. You're going to have to war in the spirit. You're going to have to fast and pray hard because some things are going to come. But don't stop. Don't give in. Because in the same month of February, where you have that war going on, you will have victory in the end. Weeping only endure for a night. I heard the Lord said, weeping only endure it for a night. But joy will indeed come in the morning in the name of jesus christ of nazareth it is done sister shereen i don't know what's going on but there will be another contention in your family i hear the lord said another i don't know your story but i hear the lord said there will be another contention in your family be on your double watch there is an enemy among you. Somebody that you trust is about to de deceive you. Sister Sherine Mullins. Somebody who you trust is about to deceive you. I hear the Lord telling me that there will be another contention in your family. And somebody who you trust. <laughs> but may the Lord fight for you. May the Lord fight for you. Jesus. May the Lord fight for you. In this time. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Thank you Holy Spirit. Go Somebody you're here. And your, your, your stomach. Your lower. I'm going to use the right words. Your lower abdomen is under fire. Yes. You are on this live. You are watching. God sees you. And I hear. Your lower abdomen. Your belly bottom. That's what they call it. Is under fire. There is a lot of discomfort. Irregularities. 
Ha. I declare your healing right now. And this has been going on for a while. But tonight I declared healing, divine healing over you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Healing, I declare it over your life right now. Healing. You are here and there is a lot of pressure down at the belly bottom. A lot of discomfort. Things are not right down there. Hallelujah. It will be well. It will be well with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Chikoto bababaka sata. Mana na kashe na mako soto kodo boko sata. Hey, ya 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 boko city. Somebody, you're here. And there are some things happening in your life that's not making any sense. And it makes you very emotional. I feel yei kushutu kudaba. Rabadada kusha rabako soto. Oh, may the Lord turn it around for your good. You don't understand it. You can't put your finger on it. But it makes you so emotional. I hear the Lord said he's pulling you closer to him. I hear the Lord said your story is about to change by January 31st. The last day of this month. Your story will change. This is not from man. This is from the throne room of grace. God said your story story is about to change on january 31st i decree and i declare it done over your life in this time in the name of jesus christ of nazareth amen you are very emotional right now and you can't figure it out you don't know why you just have these Feelings that you can't control. All these feelings. It's, it makes you. You don't know if you want to cry. You don't know if you want to scream. But I tell you this. The Lord said. He is in control. Hey Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, 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 how I trust you, how I prove you more and more, Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, Oh, for grace to trust you more. Somebody said it's true because they feel it all the time. I feel it. I, I feel the presence of God right now here. And what he is showing me that you are going through the things. And I can feel it. I feel it. Hallelujah. I can feel it. Oh, Jesus, let your will be done. Hallelujah. Oh, the Bible said, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not according to the book of Proverbs chapter 3 and 5. He said, lean not unto your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him. Acknowledge him that he's there. Acknowledge the presence of God in your life and he will direct, he shall direct your path. Trust in the Lord. It doesn't matter how knowledgeable you are of certain things. Don't lean to your own understanding. Go to the Lord in prayer and have him direct you. He will direct you. Trust in him. He is God. Oh, hallelujah. Trust in him. Trust in the Lord with everything that is in you. 
and don't lean to your own understanding. I just came out here tonight to remind those people that are coming to church tomorrow that we will be in the same building. But the original spot that we were at, that's where we will be. When you enter the building, make a right. The first right. Yeah. Amen. So I encourage you, whatever you're going through, it is well. Ha, da, 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 ko, satayo. I, Jesus, I encourage you that whatever the situation, there's somebody here. And, and and you consider yourself as salt because you don't have long-term relationships they all break off as soon as you you're getting comfortable something happened there's a man here on this platform watching you're on instagram yes I'm talking to you. You are on Instagram and you're watching. You don't do well with relationship with women. I pray that anything that they did to you in the past to mess you up, I break it. Your relationship don't last long. And, and you invest in relationship. You take care of women. But they don't stay with you. And you're wondering secretly what's wrong. It's not you. It's not you. Get closer to God. I know you love him, but get closer to God. Hey, Jesus. Get closer to him. You're young. You're attractive. But the type of people that you want to spend time with, I'm here to let you know this. Get closer to God. I hear the Lord said I should tell you get closer to him. He will direct your path. It will be well with you. You're watching from Instagram. Yes. I'm not going to go too deep either. As soon as you start getting comfortable with women, they disappear. They find ways to walk out of your life or provoke you to wrath. But I pray for you. I pray that this curse will be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that it will be broken. The Bible said it takes anointing to break yoke. I pray that it will be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Even as I speak, you feel the presence of God. You, you, you're getting some, you know, those itsy bitsy chills that you can't even control. Yeah, divine restoration. Jesus. Whatever was taken from you, God is about to change that. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus. I just want to pray tonight over those covenant seeds. Yes. Hallelujah. I want to pray tonight over those covenant seeds. Those people who came into covenant our partner with the with the ministry. Hi, Jesus. May the Lord breathe afresh upon your prayers. That prayer request that you have. Hallelujah. Jesus. That prayer request. Every month you write your prayer request down. And tonight we're going to thank God. Jesus. Somebody said, Father, I thank you that my seed will germinate and bear fruit this year. We will continue the covenant beyond February 
until God says stop. The Lord said we should continue. So if you are here tonight and you are a covenant partner, we will continue the covenant. Amen. Father, I thank you that my seed will germinate and bear fruit. Open your mouth and pray. Hi, Jesus. Father, I thank you that my house will be blessed. And my family will be blessed. Father, I thank you that I will attract wealth wherever I go. My children will attract wealth wherever they go in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty God. Father, I thank you that my substance will increase. I thank you because you're going to do it. I have faith in you, Lord. And I declare that my substance will increase. Jesus. Lord, we thank you. And we know that whatever we do, it will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. So therefore, Lord God, we are trusting you with our finances. We are trusting you with these covenant seeds. We are trusting you with our request. Mighty God. We are trusting you with our healing. We are trusting you, mighty God, with our children. We are trusting you with our marriage. We are trusting you with our ministry, with our business. Lord, we are trusting you with our deliverance, with our healing, with our health. Jesus. We are trusting you, Lord. And we thank you that our store basket will never be empty. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. We are thanking you that our store basket will never be empty. In the name of Jesus Christ, therefore, we lift up our substance before you. And we declare the favor of God. And we declare the favor of man at this hour in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare it. And we declare also that we will be unstoppable. Tonight we declare that we will be unmovable. It's 2023. And we declare that we will be unbeatable. Father, we thank you. That these covenant prayers and these covenant seeds will speak on our behalf. I'm believing you, Lord God. For whatever you said about our life, that it will come to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you. Because our covenant seed will block accident. Mighty God, it will block premature death. It will, in our family, it will generate generational blessings. And it will break curses. <coughs> Excuse me. We thank you, Lord. And we declare that our covenant seed will give us the wisdom of Solomon. We declare that our covenant seed, O oh Jesus, will give us strength like Samson. We declare that our seeds will give us the boldness like Esther. We declare That our words will be sweet unto man. We declare that our words will be seasoned with salt. Ay, 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 ay. We declare the blessings of the Lord that make it rich and add no sorrow. It will be our portion and it will be the portion of our children and our children's children in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We decree and we declare Psalm chapter 65 in our life that it will be well. That fat will drop in our path. Jesus. We decree and we declare that we will carry the grace of God with us wherever we go. Father, we declare that any place we enter will be accepted. 
we decree and we declare that any place our children enter they will be accepted my god we decree and we declare that our year will be crowned with goodness and fat will drop in our path we decree and we declare that our covenant seed will do the work of god tonight we declare that our blessings will be permanent tonight we declare that our children's blessings will be permanent because of our covenant that we have because of our covenant seed we decree and we declare that our blessings and our children's blessings will be permanent hallelujah we decree tonight and we make declarations that our peace will be permanent our joy will be permanent our children's peace will be permanent and their joy will be permanent tonight we pray for preservation of life may your life be preserved because of your covenant seed in the name of jesus christ of nazareth it is done hallelujah it is done we decree and we declare it done in the name of jesus christ yes it's the beginning of the new year and the lord said let us continue these prayers let us continue our covenant seed let us continue be covenant partners beyond february until the lord speak it will be well amen i just want to say Whatever the Lord is doing, declare your portion out of it. Don't sit there and pretend that everything is okay. Mm -mm. The Bible tells us that it is the plan of the enemy to rob us, to kill us, or to destroy us. The enemy have three assignments. To rob, kill, destroy. Don't let it get to you. Amen. It is done. Hallelujah. It is done. So tomorrow church starts at 10 a.m. And we will be, remember the address, 100 East River Drive, East Hartford, Connecticut. You are invited to church and bring a friend. Amen. You are invited to church. When you go, just walk up to the receptionist. And they will give you the information. Tell them you are here for El Shaddai prayer tower. You are here for church service. And they will direct you to, to where we are located. Hallelujah. I just want to say thank you for each and every one of you that's here. Remember we are building a church in Jamaica. Yes we are. And we are expecting building fund. From each and every soul that is able to give. That the Lord is blessed. You know many people have been blessed with a job. Many people have been blessed with business. Many people have been blessed financially. I encourage you to stretch forth your hands and be a blessing to the ministry. So we can continue to finish the building. Amen. Hallelujah. Pretty soon. We will go live from that location and you'll get to see the unfinished building. Glory to God. Yes. So I encourage you to be a blessing so we can continue to do the Lord's work. Church begins at 10 a.m. So if you're sending your friends or your relatives, let them know service begins at 10 a.m. A.M. Sister Nancy, we can't wait to see you and your beautiful daughter. We love you in Connecticut. Amen. Glory to God. Once again, my time is up. I have to go. We have, we'll see each other in church. We'll go live. Hallelujah. From church.
Glory to God. It's such a blessing, Sister Danisha. May the Lord continue to strengthen you as you continue to study. I encourage you to study the Word of God. If the Lord blesses you, be a blessing. It doesn't matter how small. It could be $50. It could be 100 Whatever God touch your heart to give. 1000 Whatever it is. Be a blessing. And I can guarantee you, whatever you release in this ministry, the Lord will give it back to you. You know, I remember there was a time when the Lord told me to bless someone. And I was wondering, how am I going to give that much money? And I said, okay, I'll do it. And before the day was out, God sent someone to give me the money. I didn't ask any question. So the money was provided so I could do the Lord's work. Be a blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you as we declare, mighty God, tonight. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. If you want to be a blesser with offering, the number is 860-634-8557. If the Lord touch your heart to give, you can use Zelle, PayPal, or Cash App. And if you have none of those things, you can give us a call on WhatsApp or send us a message. And we'll give you information where you can donate to the ministry. But we thank God for what he's doing among us. I'm thankful and I'm grateful. God bless you all and have a wonderful night.